All right, so today I really want to focus on uh, countering jabs and crosses right away with uh, with kicks, right? So I can either go inside or outside leg kicks. This is very, very valuable uh, as opposed to always double blocking or always parrying and answering and countering back with something high. Uh, remember, your legs are longer than your arms. So if I'm able to parry that, uh, that, that jab, I can come in and I can kick that leg. I can parry that jab, I can come around and go for that leg kick as well. So if you're dealing with uh, someone who might, uh, again, be a little bit more on the aggressive side or has a little bit of longer reach, right? Sue, uh, if, if I extend my hand out, right? I can, I can touch uh, Sue's chin. She extends her hand out. She can't catch mine. She can't touch my, uh, my chin, right? But if she were to kick, bam, she's right on target there, okay? So uh, we're just gonna get into, just nice and light, we covered it not too long ago, uh, parrying or what we call pat in Thai. Say it with me, pat. Like P-A-T, pat. Very easy. Pat. Okay. So when we parry a punch, again, we're going to keep our hands up right by our face. Again, you can think of it like a windshield wiping motion. And we're not going to spend too, too much time on this because we've done it a little bit. But when I'm here, uh, ideally, I want to go with the same side as uh, the hand that's passing that punch. So if I'm throwing a jab, uh, sorry, if Sue's throwing a jab, I'd be using my right hand to parry down on that. Same thing if she throws a cross, I'd be using my left. So I've always want to be... Uh, opposite or same side as uh, the punch that's coming in okay and good analogy it's like you're trying to waft a, a foul smell that's all we're trying to do okay things to keep away from right I don't want to cat paw this I don't want to come down too hard because look what's uh, look what's open the rest of my face so even when I'm here think of it like you have a little rectangle right in front of your face all I need to do is just move that punch away from my face okay so uh, what we're just gonna do now is we're just gonna pass a jab so if we pass a jab we're using our right hand, so we'll pretend that we're in uh, uh, orthodox stance. So jump boy then pop. Our right hand is going to come down. We're just going to parry, and we're just going to bring that hand down and right back up. Okay. While we're here, we can do a little bit of steps. My own moving around. When I say go, you're going to pass that jab. Go. Good. Move, move, move. Go. Perfect. Move around. Use your circles. Go. Soup na, soup lang, soup kwa, soup sai. Moving around, go! Good, again, we want to be somewhat forceful on this, right? Because if I'm going too slow, if Sue sends a really good jab and I'm too slow, I'm still going to get hit right in the face with that. So even when I'm here, especially because it's, because it's shadow boxing, I want to make it a nice snappy motion. Okay? We keep on moving. Go! Nice. Go! Okay. By the same token, we're going to be passing that cross. So when we pass that cross, it's just going to be our left hand that comes down and just redirects that punch. Again, other hand is always going to be up by your face, always protecting ourselves. So moving around. And go. Move, step forward, step back. Go. 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 Right, piece of cake, easy. Okay, so first things first, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass a jab and we're gonna go for that inside leg kick, right? So again, uh, using Sue as an example here, she throws her jab, bam, all I need to do is just transfer my weight to my back leg, bam, and I'm going to that inside leg. We're here, bam, bam, right? So it should be instantaneous. I wanna try not to not make it two separate motions as in a pass and then a kick, because by the time I'm ready to throw that kick, she's going to be moving on to something else. And you have to remember, I sacrificed one, uh, one offense for a defense, right? So if I, if I spend too much time with this hand down, my face is going to be exposed, okay? So all we're just going to do is we're just going to move around. Like I say, go. You're going to pass that jab. Send that inside leg kick. Bah. Okay? Target that I'd be striking for. Uh, roughly about two inches above that knee. There's a good cluster of nerves on the inside thigh. I'd be trying to make contact with the lower portion of my shin. Bam, right? How I get that power is just tilting out my hip, Bam. slightly blading my body. I don't need to over rotate and compensate. All I need to do is just use that momentum of that pass. Bam. 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 Right? So if you hit the count, Bam. Bam. she goes. Bam. 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 Right? Nice and fast. Okay. Uh, let's go with this. We're going to move around. And actually, you know what? You're going to turn and face me. I'm going to shadow box this for you. As soon as I send my jab, that's when you're going to execute your move, right? If I step forward, you're going to step back. 
If I step back, you're stepping forward. So a little bit of a shadow boxing exercise here. Everyone can see me okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Moving around. Forward. Ah. Good. Pass that jab. Send that inside leg kick. Ah. Good. Ah. Good. Go. Mm. Good, so Brandy, I want you to try to make it almost a simultaneous motion. As soon as you pass, that leg is gonna come up right away. Bam, bam. So think of the count, one, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, all right, keep going. Go. Bam. That's it. And uh, I want you to be uh, kicking with your left leg, Brandy. So you're gonna pass with your right, you're gonna kick with your left. That's it. So we're going to that inside leg. You look at me and Sue again. I'm passing her left, and then my left leg, bam, is gonna come up for that leg kick. Just because if she's in stance, if we're, uh, in, if we're in the same stance, that leg is gonna be nice and vulnerable for me here. Okay? Okay, let's keep going with our shadow boxing. Good, if I'm moving back. Bam. Much better, let it fly. Nice straight leg, bam, like a baseball bat. Bam. Set. Go. Good. And go. Good. Nice. Okay. Uh, so moving right along, uh, right along again. Uh, kicking to the leg. Te Chen uh, Na would be my lead leg. So Te Chen. Say it with me. Te Chen. Te Chen. That's kick to the leg. Okay. Tai Chen Na would be my lead leg kick uh, or kick to the lead leg. Okay, so uh, by the same token, uh, still passing that jab. So other options that we have from here. Uh, I went to the inside, so if I happen to pass that jab, what else do I have available? I can go for a rear round kick to the leg, uh, Tai Chen Na. Or I can pass, I can go to the body, Tai Ta Lang. Or I pass that jab. Oi! Te Tawat. So Tawat is head. So Te Chen Lang. Say it with me. Te Chen. Te Chen. Te Tat is to the body. Te Tat. Te Tat. Te Tawat. Tawat. Te Tawat. Okay, so depending on how flexible you are and how much you stressed out, uh, stretched out, you can choose to do that strike for you if you'd like. So when we're here, same count, it's gonna be a one, two. I'm gonna pass that jab right away with that leg kick. We move, bam, bam. Here, bam, away. <laughs> as I take out everything else in the kitchen, okay? So count is gonna be the same. As soon as you see that jab come in, pass. We're gonna shift our body weight and go to the leg. We move, I can pass, I can go to the body. I can pass, away up to the head, okay? One, two, that should be your count, one, two. Okay, I'll let you practice that a little bit first and then we'll do a little bit of shadow boxing here together. So on your own time, practice that. Pat, pat, pass with the right. Te chen, te tat, te the wat. Of course, me going for the high kick and this is flexibility over there. Good, so bros, if we're choosing, if you wanna go for that 360, that's totally fine. Uh, but just be aware, if I'm giving my back to my opponent, there might be a chance that they're gonna kick or counter me. So if you wanna go for that 360, again, every now and then we could practice oh, snapping it out and pushing it back to our stance. Or if we go for that 360, just be mindful, bring that leg up for that leg check, just in case they happen to be throwing that kick. All right? I just have to slide on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Just as long as we're controlled. <laughs> you just got a good thunderous kick. Okay, let's shadow box this a little bit. Good, standing center. Bam. Good, remember that count. One, two. Bam. That's it, very good. Back. Bam. Nice. Moving forward, you're stepping back. 
Bam. We're gonna push all of you right into the back wall. Step back. Bam. That's it. Perfect. Good. Okay. Uh, that covers that. Okay. So last but not least, if we're here, uh, last for that jab, I can parry that jab. Boom. What else do I have uh, available? I can go for that lead leg switch kick. Again, to the leg, to the body, to the head. I can even go for that back leg if I need to, or if, I want, if I'd like to. One, two, right? If I choose to go for that back leg, again, uh, that's a pretty hard one to defend, especially if we're having to be passing that leg kick. You can generate a lot of power on that one. That's a good posting leg to be kicking because uh, again, most of your body weight should be on that back leg. So if we can attack that, that'd be great. But just keep in mind, that puts us pretty close to our opponent. Okay, so your options are, are as follows. I can pass, I can lead leg switch kick and go to that inside thigh. You can generate a lot of power from that. Okay, I can pot, I can pass, lead leg switch kick right up to the body. Last but not least, oh, hey, take to what? Okay, so, um, uh, oh my god, yeah, okay, so, uh, same thing, I'm gonna let you practice that. Stick with just that jab. So passing that jab, lead leg switch kick, right here. Again, basics on that, uh, just a quick refresh on that lead leg switch kick. Okay, so when I go for that lead leg switch kick, two options. I can, again, if you're not the most agile, I can step that front leg back, I can step forward and onto a 45 degree angle with my opposite leg. From there, I'm gonna shift my body weight forward and deliver that round kick, and I'm gonna bring it on back. Okay, if you're a little bit more agile, Agile, from here, I can do a jump switch, send that kick, okay? If you do choose to go for that jump, remember, I wanna to try to stay away from going up too high. Try to keep your shoulder height nice and level, and that's why we do this switch stance so much. Try and keep those levels set, uh, uh, square. Bam, we wanna to try to hide, hide our uh, hide our back. Bam, 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 bam. Just like that, okay? So a couple practice reps on your own. Feel free to move around a little bit. Again, you're gonna pass that jab, lead leg switch kick. And switch kick, takes a lot. Takes a lot, takes a lot. Good. So even when we're going for that kick, guys, I want you to follow through with it and plant and land with the ball of your foot on the ground. I'm seeing uh, some of you guys saw that kick, and then you're just you're just bringing it back in the air. Again, get used to follow following through with that kick and getting that uh, momentum shift in, and then reset, right? Because once I'm here, you can power off the ball of your foot to get you back in stance. Very similar if I happen to throw that kick. Bam, I'd be pushing off that leg to get me back in stance. So I don't want to see you stopping in air in midway. Just follow through with it. Bam. Step on the ball of your foot and bring it on back. That's it. And while we're here, get in the habit of shifting or, or blading our body as well. Again, so if I'm here, there's a lot of wasted power if my, my shoulders are still squared up. If I'm here, I'm just in that kick. Bam. Wah. Right back. Okay. Okay. Sue's doing shin conditioning off the fridge. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay, looks pretty good. So. Uh, we're gonna keep moving uh, in on that for right now. We're gonna do a little bit of a technical exercise here first. We'll get a quick uh, water break right after this. All right. So all we're just gonna work is just a jab, cross, jab, cross. You're gonna parry a jab, jab. You can either do that lead leg switch kick and send that kick, or jab, cross, jab, cross, pass, inside leg kick, jab, cross, jab, cross, pass, roundhouse kick to the body, leg or head. Okay. So take your time. You can move around a little bit. When I say go. Bam, bam, 
And just move it around. So change up your punches, head to the body, body, head, your choice. Okay, when I say go, that's when you're gonna start your combination there. Next to that, you're just gonna be Mayong stepping around. Okay, on time and go! Jab, cross, jab, cross, pass. Pass at the right, that's it. Move it around. Go! Pass, let that kick fly, that's it. Go! Good. Go! That's it. Move in. Go! Very nice. Remember, Brandy, follow through that kick. I want you to drop that ball of the foot on the ground and bring it back. Go! That's it. Yeah, don't fight that momentum. Let it go through. Keep walking. Go! That's it. Remember, mix up those defenses. Mix up those kicks. Last one. Go! Excellent. And time. Grab a quick drink of water. Towel off if you need to. Okay, and obviously there's a lot of other uh, parrying or, or passing with that jab and other options that you can do. These are some very, very basic ones. Uh, I'm going to let you guys, we're going to do a couple rounds after that, and you can follow through with uh, some bonus counters afterwards as well. Okay, so next up, going on to our cross. Okay, so passing, uh, parrying the cross. Again, from here. Again, I have a couple options. I have that inside leg kick. Bam! I'm here. We move. One, two. One, two. Bam, bam. Okay, so same thing, just opposite side, right? Again, a helpful hint that I like to, like to use as well. When I parry, right, I want to essentially pivot, if you can kind of see, I want to essentially pivot around uh, my wrist. Bam! and slight drop, right? What that allows me to do is bring up that shoulder and also protect my chin at the same time, as opposed to passing and all of this side is my, of my face is, uh, ex is exposed, I almost leverage or use my arm like a lever, bam! And just in case if I happen to miss or they follow up with, uh, maybe they throw that jab, they fake that jab and come around for that hook, I'm still relatively protected with, uh, with my uh, shoulder up into my ear. Okay, so just keep in mind of that. Something I forgot to touch base on. So we're gonna do. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with pat, mat trong lang, or pass the uh, pass the uh, the cross right away inside leg. Moving around, bam bam, bam bam. That's it. We're just gonna have a whole bunch of dents in the fridge. Bam. Good. good. Yeah, so you'll be passing. So if I'm here, if I'm sending my cross, bam, that means you're going to be passing with your left. You got it, and snapping that right. Same thing with this one. Um, I know, Brandy, you have a lot of uh, uh, other martial art experience. With Muay Thai, we generally want to try to keep our leg nice and straight. So when uh, I see you kick and you're throwing that kick, you're almost snapping your heel back, right? From here, clean entry, clean exit. So when I send it, bam, I want that leg to go all the way through, bam and back, right? Because for, uh, for Muay Thai, it's not so much based on points, it is to some degree, but I want to be able to damage and hurt my opponent, right? With a lot of uh, karate or, or other type of uh, the martial art kicks, right? you're doing that a little bit more for points, you're not trying to, to take out your opponent. In Muay Thai, bam, I'm chopping off that leg and I'm taking it home with me, okay? So when we throw that nice straight leg, bam, clean entry, clean exit, bam, right like that. So one, two, bam, bam. Correct, yeah, we're gonna push off the ball of our foot. So if I'm here, I'm pushing off the ball of my foot. After I pass, bam! So it's almost like a thrusting motion with that hip. Bam! Bam! You got it, much better, excellent. Good, 
again, every martial art has their own little uh, style differences. Uh, Muay Thai, we just want as much power and momentum as possible by bending that leg. We actually uh, reduce a lot of that, that power that can come from that kick. Okay, we're going to move right along because that one was pretty straightforward. Uh, so from here, we're going to pass that cross. Okay, and from here, I can still attack to the outside body without having to do a switch kick. Well, if I'm here, I'm going to pass, I'm going to take a step in, and I'm going to send that round kick. This way, just a little bit. Here, pass, step, kick. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, again, really, realistically, it depends on where your opponent is, right? If Sue happens to be close, or here, she sends that, that punch, I can pass, and I can come up, and I can reach her from, from, uh, from this strike here. Bam, bam, right? But if she's trying to maybe try to step in with that cross, or here, I want to be able to take a check step in and get a much better shot on that target there. So again, really depends on the orientation or where your opponent is. Uh, for here, for right now, just pass on the same side. If you need to take a little bit of a step out to the side to get that kick in, even better, right? So for here, one, two, one, two, one, two, thread like that, okay? And once when I send that kick, I can just drop that leg up in the front and that'll allow me to send some counters forward. Again, you do have that option to send that kick and bring it on back and end up in southpaw, but we'll do that another day maybe. Okay, so same thing, pass that cross right away. Straight leg, bam, again, hips used. You're gonna use your hip for the power. One, two, round. Bam, 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 bam. That's it. Good. One, two. That's it. Good. <clears throat> Good. Okay, right, so uh, when we're in this position here again, when we're shadow boxing, when it comes to that lead leg kick, right, or or if I'm using that lead leg to go to the body, again, I'd be okay uh, just to, because realistically, if we're throwing that kick, uh, we're here, I'm just throwing that kick to the leg. It's more of a distraction, right? I'm trying to beat up on that leg or beat up on that body, whereas opposed to a roundhouse kick, if I'm trying to uh, shadow box this, I'm going for power. Right, so kind of the difference, you're probably wondering why some of the kicks you're holding back in the air and other kicks you're following right through. Again, if I'm throwing with my lead kick, or with my lead leg, I don't have a lot of power on that. The only way I get, a uh, get more power on that is if I go for that lead leg switch kick, then I can send my whole body right into that kick. Right, so kind of the difference, when we're shadow boxing, that lead, we're able to just flick that kick out and any of the round kicks where we're going for that full follow through, that's why. All right, power difference is a little bit, uh, or the power between the two is just a little bit different there. Okay, uh, moving right along. God, I always have so much planned, not enough time. Okay, just like real class. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna go, we're gonna parry that cross now, but from here, now we're gonna go for that lead leg switch kick. So parry, bam. And from here, we're gonna follow through with that kick and blade our body. We're gonna see you here. We're gonna parry that cross. One, two. Parry set, one. Two, right there. Right. Try not to destroy the shells in my room. Okay, so again, because this is power, one, one, bam, follow through, and then up over here, bam, bam, reset. That's right. Again, for this one, follow right through, and on the ground, and push yourself back. So you got that power. That's it, nice. Very good. Very good, Mish. That's it. Nice, bros. Good, again, the more you do this, the more you'll get used to your balance with that lead leg switch kick. Again, if you find that, if you go for that lead leg switch kick, you're kind of winding, uh, winding up, falling back just a little bit, 
Uh, that just means we have to make sure that that posting leg is right above our center mass. So if I'm here, if I go for that lead leg switch kick, switch, I shift my body weight to that lead leg, and I should be able to turn and keep, if you look at that line on my body, I'm here, one, one, two, three, I should be nice and straight, right? The reason why we might be falling back is if I happen to jump and I land with my leg back, I'm trying to throw that kick here, you see my center of mass is behind that leg. So when we're, when we're going for that jump switch, jump switch, shift that body weight to that lead leg, we should be in a nice straight line to deliver, deliver that kick and come right back. Okay, uh, keep going on that, another minute or so. Rough. So we are not used to everybody being dark. <laughs> it's usually very sunny. Let's run. Nice. Looks good. <laughs> okay. Tap. Okay. Next technical combination, and then we're gonna get a little bit of a, a little bit of a break here. We're gonna go jab, cross hook, cross, bring in that, uh, that cross head back, you're gonna parry, from there you're gonna go for a lead leg switch kick, jab, cross, hook, cross, I can pass, inside leg kick, jab, cross, hook, cross, I can pass, step into that body. So any of those kicks that we just worked on, one, two, three, four, pass, inside leg kick. Remember when we pass, bring that shoulder up, bam, bam. Jab, uh, jab, cross, hook, cross, pass, Kick to the body and back. Jab, cross, hook, cross, pass, switch kick to the body, to the head, to the inside leg. Sounds good. Okay, moving around, my own. Move, move, move. When I say go, you react. Go. Jab, cross, hook, cross, pass, and kick. All right, keep on moving. Go. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Pass, and kick, that's it, nice, go, <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to keep you thinking, go, that's it, nice, move, 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 again, pay attention to your striking targets. When you're throwing those punches, are you punching the head or punching the body? Visualize the targets. Go! Jab, cross, hook, cross, pass, kick. That's it. Go! Excellent. And time. Okay, drink of water. Okay, let me get a counter going on here. Okay, any questions so far? It's okay, again, <clears throat> these are extremely valuable. Um, again, especially if you're not the most confident in going in and rumbling with your hands against your opponent, use your legs against their hands. Use their legs against their arms and it's gonna be awesome for you. Okay, so. First round, all we're gonna do uh, is, uh, we're just gonna shadow box a little bit, or uh, sorry, not shadow box, uh, we're gonna virtual box. So all I'm gonna do for the first round, I'm gonna send that jab, right? All you're gonna do is you're gonna pass that jab and go for any of those kick counters. After we finish, you can follow it up. So if I'm here, I might pass that jab, outside leg kick, jab, uppercut, uppercut, cross, and move back, right? From here, I might pass that jab, jab, inside leg kick, jab, elbow, clinch, knee, me. The number, the quantity is up to you. It doesn't matter. But when we're here, the fundamentals pass that jab, inside or outside leg kick of some sort, followed up with one, two, three, four, X amount of uh, counters as you'd like. So if I'm here, pass, jab, bam, 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 and reset. Pass, outside leg kick, clinch, knee, knee, disengage. So a little bit more of a sandbox. Mish, because you're a blue short, I'll allow you, you can have a little bit more fun with this, a little bit more, a bit more variety on that. Sounds good? Remember, I'm just gonna virtual box you. When you see that jab come in, you're gonna make that corresponding uh, defense and combination. Oh, 
Okay. Two minute round. Bam. Good. Follow it up. Couple counters. Excellent. Shot. That's it. Inside leg kick, outside kick, outside kick to the body, kick to the head, switch kick. Bam. That's it. And for you guys in the future, I'll do some to you. Bam! That's it. Follow it up. When we follow up, drive forward, be aggressive. Bam! That's it. Yeah, dominate that space with those counters. Drive forward. Keep your opponent on their heels. Bam! You can add teeps, you can add the elbows. We worked on all uppercut elbows. You can throw on those fancy elbows, spinning back elbows, things that we've covered in the last couple weeks. Bam! That's it. As long as we're going for that pass and that kick, the rest is up to you. Keep breathing. Go! Bam! Very nice. Bah. Bah. Ten seconds. Bah. Finish off, finish off. And time. Grab a drink of water when you finish that combo. Very good. Round two, we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm just gonna be throwing my cross hand, my cross hand. So when we uh, when we pop that cross, right? We have that inside leg kick. We can pass and go to the body. We can pass and go. Uh, ooh, lead leg, lead leg kick. Follow it up, bam, 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 with some combinations. Pass, inside leg kick, deep, step forward, knee. All right. So try to have a little bit of fun with that, some elbows, some knees. Remember, drive forward, keep your opponent on their heels, right? Ideally, you'd want to trap them up, back them up against the ropes or in a corner. That would be ideal for us. She's like one of the Raptors, uh, people at the Raptors game that comes around and just squeegees the sweat off the ground. Okay, let's go. Very nice. Some elbows, you like some elbows. Bah. That's it. way for you to see what works what doesn't work you get comfortable with how your body moves when you shadow box
Tanaka. Okay. Quick break. Uh, yeah, huh. I think that's, that's good. I want to do another round of one twos, but uh, we're almost out of time. We want to finish up as we always do. Okay, let's do some push-ups. Any questions on what we covered there uh, today? Again, very, very valuable tool. If you can counter a punch with a kick, it's going to be much easier for you. Uh, you don't take as many headshots, uh, which is always an advantage right there. Okay, push-ups. <clears throat> 10 wide, 10 medium, 10 diamond, 10 knuckle push-ups. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna get everyone to count. So I'll count five, Sil count five, Mishi count five, Ferozi count five, and back to me for another five. So wide, medium, diamond, knuckle push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start with wide push-ups. Ready? Go. No. Song. Sam. Say. Ha. Medium. No. Song. Sam. Say, ha. Go, Mish. Diamond. One, two, three, four, five. Why? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Well, this is working out quite well, actually. I'm going to make everybody do this from now on. Okay, five. I'll do five full spring ups. Sue will get double half. Uh, Mish, you can go back for full spring ups. Uh, Feroz, you can do. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. No head sit-ups, right here. Grab a hold of your shorts, keep your legs low, and we'll finish off uh, triple half spring-ups. Why not? Okay, full spring-ups, ready? Let's go, one, uh, two, three, four, five. Double half, one, two, three, four, five. You're up. Oh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. And triple half spring ups. Ready? Let's go. One, ah, two, ah, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. Very good stuff, everyone. Again, 45 minutes is never enough. We need more time. Okay, good stuff today. Cow Puck. Cow Troon. Swatty Cop. Perfect, too. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look at us. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Delete that from the reel. Cow Puck. Cow Troon. Look how. Long song song. Muay Thai Chao. Perfect, too. Swatty Cop. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Swatty Cop. Until Friday for some of you guys.